So you've recently finished your book, Taking Stock, which is coming out later this year. Can you tell us a little bit about it and two or three of the key takeaways? I think the main takeaways from the book are you need to first understand your purpose and identity, like what you want to get out of the world. Then you need to have a very reasonable financial plan, how to get to financial independence, and there's a couple of ways to do that. And then last but not least, once you've kind of figured out what your purpose is, made a financial plan, you have to ask yourself one basic important question. Are you most afraid of running out of time or running out of money? I think we're about evenly spread between both. Those people are worried about having enough time. People who are worrying that, God, I could die tomorrow and not have done so many things and fulfilled my dreams. My father's a perfect example of this. You know, my father told my mother when he married her that I feel like I'm gonna die young. He's wow. like, it is what it is. And when I look at my dad and the way he managed finances, like he got life insurance and those kind of things because he had this feeling, but he didn't spend a lot of time worrying about money and saving and investing. I mean, he had interests. He was learning other languages. He was an avid photographer. For him, time was the biggest concern, so he wanted to live life to the fullest. I compare that to me. I've always felt like I was going to live really long. It's just something I innately feel. So time is not my biggest concern. Money is. Mm. So I felt a real urgency to grind it out at work and to make as much money as I could to get it into the stock market and let it compound so that I'd always have enough money, even if I retired at 48 and then didn't work a day in my life again until my 90s. So it really can help you decide the tempo of how you want to save for financial independence. I think everyone should strive towards financial independence. But if time is your biggest concern, maybe you save 10% and then you take 10 or 20% and put it in a YOLO fund mm -hmm. and you go and experience those things and follow your passions. And so if you're right, and God forbid you die young, you lived a full life. If you're wrong, you still have this good financial independence plan. It's just gonna take longer. So you're not gonna retire at 40. Maybe you retire at 60, but you're living life to the hilt up to that age.